What is up, YouTube? This is Anthony in this game here, and today we are back on Red Dead Redemption 2. Now, what we are doing now is we are on our way to Blackwater for the first time. Well, the first time here. I've been to the Blackwater in the online, but first time here. To meet with a guy at the bank who's supposed to give me a loan for the property like the property that uh john owns in red dead redemption one i think they call it beecher's hope because i'm supposed to from what i gathered from the conversation between john and what's his name i think mr gettys yeah, forgive me, I haven't played this game in a while, I've been really busy with a lot of things. Uh, so, he's trying to get a loan, so he can buy the land, because Abigail left with Jack, because they feel like John is still the same old man that he was, and hasn't changed. So, John wants to buy the land for her, so that he can prove that he isn't that same person. So, yeah. I, I'm i just excited because this is the first time that I've been to this area in single player. I'm sure you remember back whenever I was playing the earlier game, I tried to come here, and it didn't work out well. I died instantly. Because I wanted to try to see... John's future home, but it didn't work out well. Whoa, 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 whoa. Oh, jeez. Oh god, even the horse got hit. Oh boy. Okay. I mean, it sucks to see this happen, but... I mean, yeah, it happens. But, yeah, anyway... We're, we're going to go get that loan so that we can prove to Ab Abigail... That we are a different man. And I gotta say, this... This town is still just it's still one of my one of my favorites because it's from the original game and also it's just I just always love the look of it but yeah with all that being said why don't we get on with this episode of Red Dead Redemption 2 Can I help you? I hope so. <clears throat> I want a loan, sir. A line of credit, so I can buy some property. What property? An old ranch, Beecher's Hope. <laughs> that old dump? I, I know it ain't much, but I ain't much of a farmer either. But I will get there. That is a very unusual way of asking for a loan. Mr. M Marston. Marston. 
Only folk around here call me Milton. It's kind of a joke, I guess. <laughs> a joke, huh? And which folk? Mr. Geddes. Uh -huh. I work for him. He said that you could help me out. I mean, if you can. So old David Geddes told you I'm the kind of man to loan a man with two names money so he can buy a run-down farm on account of his lack of farming skills, huh? <laughs> Don't sound too promising when you put it like that. <laughs> well, how would you put it? Sorry to waste your time, sir. Oh, sit down. I'm sure we can figure something out. Now, of course, we'll be expecting you to make regular payments, and given a lack of much evidence you got any means of repaying, the terms won't be too great. But if my cousin vouches for you, it'll be okay with the bank. Really? <laughs> Absolutely. Thank you. Now, of course, we'll be expecting our money back regular as clockwork until the debt's settled. Otherwise, the farm reverts to the bank, no matter how much you paid. I understand. Mm -hmm. Well, why don't you go check out the land while I fix the contracts and talk to Mr. Geddes. Oh, I heard there's squatters up there. We've been having so many problems recently, they'll need clearing on. Sure. Well, come back when you're done and we'll fix up the paperwork. One thing that's always bothered me, Morning, I see people with beards like uh, John has. <laughs> that was close. Sorry. Like, I see beards like John has, and it's. It's like, I wish that I could grow one that looks like that. But every time I try to grow one, it just. It just grows like in patches and all that. Like, I do want to kind of grow one, like, just because everyone in my family seems to be able to grow a good beard and all that, so. Help the blind. Help the blind. Help Wait. the blind. Help a blind man. Here. Okay, there we go. You have learned the most important lesson of all. That only one thing matters. And all else is lies. Okay. I guess I'll bear that in mind. Huh. But yeah, like my brother-in-law, who he wants to play this game, uh, he has a beard that looks kind of like John's. Huh. But every time I try, all I get is this. I don't know. Maybe I'm just not doing something right. <laughs> uh, that usually tends to be the main thing. I just mainly don't do things exactly how you're supposed to. Easy now. Hmm. What the hell? John's gonna be buried up there one day. So we got some squatters. I don't know how this will go. If I can, I will try to settle it peacefully to further prove to Abigail that I am a changed man and that I'm willing to change for her. Yep, John's going to be buried right up there. Can I help you, friend? Uh, maybe? I hope so. Who's in charge here? No one, mister. This is a free country. <laughs> now that I ain't so sure about. Listen, I'm buying this land. I'm afraid... Afraid you guys are gonna have to go somewhere else. <coughs> Who's this? 
ain't sure. Some fancy dang city boy says he owns this land. Or he's gonna. Owns it? That's what he says. Okay. And how come we live in here? I ain't sure. I want to try to prove to Abigail that I am a changed man, so I don't have a lot of money, but hell. Now, as much as I'd love to pay you, I'm sure. So, oh. get the hell out of here. This land belongs to me now. Ain't nothing on this earth belongs to no one, partner. Looks like you made your decision then, partner. <laughs> Uh, I didn't want it to go down this way. I miss my... I miss my... gear. Look, I'm really sorry. I... I didn't want it to come to this. I wanted to pay them, but guess I don't have enough money to pay them. Oh boy. I wonder how much money you would have needed to pay them off. Ah, it's you. The man with two names and no past. Come on in. How'd you make out? Well, let's just say there are no more squatters. Okay. Well, I got your paperwork ready. Now, you sure about buying this place? It's really run down, and the price isn't too great. I think it would mean a lot for my wife. At least mean I was listening to her. Okay. Well, sign here and here. Now we own you, Mr. Marston, and we own Mr. Milton, too, and we own your property. But you can buy your freedom each week. Eventually, you will be a homeowner. I understand. Congratulations. You are now a real American, indebted and owned by the bank. <laughs> I'm choking. They own me. They just own your property. Now, you can also use this line of credit for any home improvements you need to make, of course. I can? Sure. Be good, Mr. Marston. Welcome to home ownership. It's a beautiful thing. Let your wife know what to complain about. <laughs> Just joking. Well, it is you. Well, I never. I, I thought you was dead, boy. Dead. Uncle? The very same. Come here. <laughs> I saw you going into the bank, and by the looks of things, you ain't robbed it. I've gone straight. Oh, bull crap. No, for real. <laughs> well, I'm trying. All these years, you ain't changed a bit. Maybe a little bit. I thought you was dead. <laughs> not yet. Well, I got some things to take care no, of. No, not a problem. I'll come too. No, you don't have to. Oh, no, I'm real sick, John. Lumbago. It's a slow and... Painful death, my brother. Evidently. Have a little pity, will you? Huh? Come on, then. All right. <laughs> uh, old Lumbago. Marston, come on. Follow me.
Huh, I remember in Red Dead 1 having that shootout with can see we're headed west. You know, speaking in monosyllables don't make you seem interesting. It makes you seem stupid. I don't care how I seem. Well, now where west are we headed, you damn grunting fool? This ranch, I... A ranch I bought just now. Is that what you were doing in the bank? Spending all your money? Hold oh, on. I want a ranch in the armpit of West Elizabeth. Oh, my lord. <laughs> Not that that's any of your concern, but I was in the bank borrowing the money. Well, that's even worse. Yeah, you can run from a bounty, John. You can't run from a bank. Is Abigail there? No. She's, uh, her and Jack are waiting until I'm set up before joining me out here. <laughs> you mean she left you? Oh, I never thought she was a smart woman, but... You know, this makes me think, maybe I was wrong. <laughs> no more of that. I just bought this place. And you're lucky I'm showing it to you, and not looking for a place to bury you out here. Uh, speaking of which, I know where we're going to bury you. It's right on that hill, right over there, by the tree. Sadly, we will all end up there one day. But yeah, that bank, it's like I still remember Red Dead 1 having that shootout with Dutch there. Look, see, we're all gonna be buried right up there, right by that tree. This is it. Look at her. Okay. What do you think? Why exactly did you buy this dump? For Abigail? Why? Is she an idiot? No. What were you thinking? I don't know. She said she wanted it. She ever seen it? What are we going to farm here? <laughs> Rocks? We? You don't have a hope here without a wise hand at the tiller. Enough of that. Get out of here. On your way. No. You're stuck with me. Seems I'm stuck with you. John, the rock farmer. <laughs> so... You think I'm an idiot? No. I know you're an idiot. Uh, Mr. Lumbago. <laughs> of course, I'm doing all the work and he's just sitting around. Chapter Oh Epilogue Part two Beecher's Hope There's that classic fence I remember. Hell. Working hard <coughs> it's the Lombago. Now, if I overdo it, I I'll get a relapse. It's very serious. Get up or get out. Oh, you can be so testy. What is it? Constipation? Guess you're my proof I'll never quite outrun my sins. You got so sanctimonious in your old age. No wonder she left you. It's like rooming with the King James Bible. <laughs> get up! Ow! I I I'm getting up. Oh, no, wait. What did I have to tell you? I, I went into town and... Oh, I got, I got a little drunk. Uh, oh, shit! Well, we gotta go. We gotta go to San Denis. Charles! Charles Smith is alive, I reckon. Charles Smith alive? Really? I, I reckon. Unless I dreamed it all, and by the sound of it, not doing too good, neither. Wait, Charles? He was one of my favorite characters. I thought... I don't remember what Charles was doing when... Like, I don't remember what Charles was doing around the end. Here we are! Come on, let's get off. Alright. 
<sighs> Back in Saint Denis. I never liked this place. Oh, yeah, well, me neither. Uh, yeah, this. Let's go find that big sour bastard. This place sure. wasn't here. Let's split up. Good idea. I'll take the saloons. You take the slums. Now, uh, how about I take the saloons and you take the slums? Hmm. It might just be because I never really actually stopped to look at this place. But it's definitely looking better. Come on, what the hell? Yeah, just gonna just call him a horse to Yeah, I'm trying to, but your people keep blocking me. Oh. Were other other language worse to you too? Uh, honestly, I really liked Sandini. Like I said, it always reminded me of New Orleans. Like they even have horse-drawn carriages in New Orleans. It's like. For me, I always lived down the country, so moving to a city, no, that that's not gonna happen. Now, I will visit a city, but yeah, moving into a city, no, I I can't do that. Like I I've, I've been living in the country way too long. Me living in a city would just it just wouldn't work. Uh, you know, just, just in case. Excuse me. I mean, you know, you never know. I could just ask one little question. Next thing you know, I'm fighting off a bunch of little twerps. Today, sir. Listen, you seen a big Indian fella? Huh. Indian? Yeah. A boxer. No. Nope. Sorry, mister. No. Nope. Actually, yes. He I think he's fighting, I believe. Fighting out behind Saint Saturnine. Thank you. Thanks a lot. No problem. Hmm. And like it's sad because if that is true that uh that Charles is f fighting now if he if this guy knew that Charles was fighting or if it's just a rumor then he, he's obviously one of those people that probably fights for money or whatever and it's sad because Charles he never really liked to. It's like you can just tell he never really liked to harm people. I mean, he always wanted to try to do a peaceful route. Hmm. <laughs> what took you so long? Oh, good lord! I was just beginning to enjoy some peace and quiet. Asked that first barman I met, and he told me Charles was here. <laughs> Not one of surprise, life's great mysteries, but turns out. A massacre. And you are a killer. We both know what you gotta do. I'm leaving now. He don't know the half of it. John? You're... You're... I'm alive. <laughs> so are you. <sighs> So's he. That's uncle? What are you doing? I don't know. 
I'm alive. Uncle thought maybe he was in some sort of trouble. Uh, kind of, just... I don't know. I, I'm throwing fights for a few dollars. Throwing fights? Sure. And you like that? Of course not. So... So... Let me go place a bet. Come on. Man, I thought you were dead. Sure. Abigail's still alive, too, only she left me. Uh, excuse me. I'd like to place a bet. On who? On myself, to win. Lone Wolf. How much? All of this. Okay. Funny thing, I pegged you for the favorite, but the odds just got real good. What about you, sir? A uh, little wager on the wolf here? Real redskin brave. I'm gonna bet on Charles because I really do support him. And I don't like the whole thing of everyone doing all this to him. Sure, I'm a fan of the wolf. Give me a bet on him. Have I got a treat for you? An epic battle between the descendant of ancient warriors and a not-so-noble savage. On my left, a ferocious battler from the valleys, Simon of Wales. And on my right, an Indian Hercules. The savage, the untamable, the unbeaten, and dare I say unbeatable, lone wolf. You know how this works. No weapons, no forfeiting, no crying like a beaten child. Everything else goes. You win by knockout, you win by retirement, or you win by death. Let's have a good fight, boys. Let's keep it clean, but not so clean. Hit him, Charles. Forza, Forza. Knock him out! Come on, Simon! Pretend he's Micah! Is this? This is rage or something! Try and stay on your feet, you hear? Wolf, kill that bastard! The wolf! <laughs> Don't be stupid, little wolf! Hit him, little wolf! The Redskins! Come, Come on, Charles! Made my months, but you also made some fellas mighty unhappy. So it goes. Here's your share, partner. If we just made the bed, I said we So you keen on staying me. around here or heading off with me and Uncle? But, John, I haven't seen you two in years. I know. But right now, my sense is you just need to lie low. Where? We got a little place up past Blackwater in the high country. Okay. I gotta grab my baggage. I booked a steamer heading up river. That's why I was pretending to throw the fight. Okay, boys. I'll meet you at the bridge outside Saint Denis. What are you doing? Uh, just have a few errands to run. <laughs> You're useless. I am a deep thinker. Be quick. Come on. Leave it to Uncle to always sneak out the back. Uh, my bag's on the dockside. So, what happened? You mean back then? Uh, Arthur helped me get out. Gave me a chance to live, I guess. You, you know that Arthur... Sure. Word got to me up north, so I went back and buried him in Miss Grimshaw. I had to run. If any of us had been found, we'd have... Oh, of course. I understand. He's where he would have wanted to be. A pretty hillside, facing the evening sun. He gave me his satchel. With some of his things in it. Remember that journal he always drew in? I got it. I'm a bit of a draftsman myself nowadays. He was a good man. As much as any of us could be. Getting sick like that has to rattle a fella. Rattle him or give him some kind of understanding. What his life was really all about. Yeah. That makes sense. Anyway, I heard all of you were dead. Or I might have come looking. And me, the same about you. Dutch? Who knows? Dead? 
Maybe. I'm not sure. I heard all kind of things, but one thing I know, he ain't around here. I ain't heard nothing real in years since, well, that time. Nor me. And Micah. I hope that bastard's dead. You know, he was the one speaking to them agents. What? Putting them on us the whole time. Or since before I got off Sisica. They picked up Strauss. The agents. Made a real mess of him. I heard he died in custody. Looking Never said a word. <sighs> Guess some folk is strong in ways you can't see. Everything that happened. All those deaths. Micah? None of us is innocent in that. Dutch, least of all. But I don't think we would have had to make those calls. All that may... Okay. Uh, hold on. What? Careful. Why? Those are Guido Martelli's men. Who? He, uh, he used to work for Angelo Bronte. I've only been here an hour. Hey. Uh, Come over here. What now? Well, you go left, I go right. On three. Mm -hmm. Three. <laughs> I wish I would have grabbed my rifle. Hold on. It seems we can never come to Saint Denis and just, you know, you not you shoot the place up. Not yet. Keep your eye out. Saint Denis ain't short on police. I remember that. Only too well. Anyone? Good so far. The further we get from those gunshots, the better chance we have of denying it, at least. No, we can't get caught. Martelli has the police chief in his pocket. If they take us in, we won't get out of the interview room. I don't want to get in a shootout over this. That's not the man I try to be anymore. No, I don't want that either. You see anything? I think we're clear. If I ever want to go back, remind me that I hate Saint Denis. Guido Martelli will happily remind you of that. Give me some simple folk. And wide open spaces. Speaking of simple. John Charles! <laughs> you boys been all getting up to no good? Kind of. Been getting shot at. Well, they weren't very good shots. Come on, let's head for home. <laughs> <sighs> I kind of want to go visit the old house. That's honestly one of my favorite. That's honestly my favorite camp. Because food, everything, it was right there. Like, you wanted to get food, you went kill a gator. One gator was enough to feed the entire place. <sighs> It's hard to believe I'm already almost done with this game. It's like... I kind of wish I was just starting it. Because it's like... I don't know. It's like I really loved playing this game. Like the story and everything. Like, I... I really wish that... I was back when I was just getting it, and... All that, cause... It was just... It was just better. Guess I did lose... Guess I did lose, uh... Arthur's hat. Fuck. 
Uh, but yeah. Uh, so, just want to give a little heads up on what it's going to be like tomorrow, Christmas Day, since today is Christmas Eve, which also reminds me, Merry Christmas, everyone, and I uh, hope you're all having a good holiday season. So, tomorrow's episodes, I recorded those first, so that I could uh, then say in this episode what the schedule's going to be. So, the schedule, there's going to be three episodes. Because I was trying to decide what would be the best way to celebrate Christmas. But then I remembered a game that has a Christmas DLC in it. I'm not going to spoil it because you can't spoil a Christmas present. But I will be having three Christmas presents tomorrow. There will be an episode at the usual time, 9 a.m. Then there will be another episode at 12 in the middle of the day. And then uh, the final episode will be at 3 p.m. So it's a three-parter. So it's it's a short DLC, which I'm sure some people might be able to already figure out what it is when I say it's a short DLC and it's Christmas base. <laughs> And it is one of my fa one of my favorite games. So, yeah, that's that's just how it's gonna be tomorrow. So tomorrow, like I said, the episodes, Easy now. part one, 9 a.m., part two, 12 p.m., part three, 3 p.m. That's the schedule for tomorrow. And then starting Wednesday, we're gonna go back to the old schedule of Red Dead Wednesday. Thursday is going to be uh, Just Cause 4. There's an Easter egg on Just Cause 4 that I saw that is pretty funny. So uh, that episode, I honestly might do that Easter egg because I think it can actually get us a good, a few good laughs and probably take up a good episode. But I think that y'all will enjoy it. But yeah. And then what Friday, another Red Dead episode. Uh I don't know what I'm going to do after Red Dead. I need to look up what games are coming out. Uh I think Kingdom Hearts is coming out in January. I need to check if so. Well, I'm going to do that game anyway. Uh, I've been watching videos on the old games because sadly I haven't played the old games which I kind of hate but then again I had a Xbox so and all that so uh, so I will try to do the uh, Kingdom Hearts because it actually has me fascinated and I also pre-ordered Anthem on Xbox and PlayStation so I got a beta code. That beta will start January 25th to 27th. If my internet works, I'm praying it will, which no point in praying for that because my internet providers don't like me. I will try to show the footage of Anthem because personally, I'm kind of looking forward to it. But anyway, I've been rambling on long enough. So yeah, with all that being said, thanks all you so much for watching. If you liked it, subscribe, leave a like, and as always, please leave a comment down below. Because your comments are the only way that I can improve on these. And, want to chat me directly, or find out updates on the channel, check me out on my Twitter, at Antilles Gaming. And, with all that being said, I will see all of you in the next episode. And again, everyone, Merry Christmas!